day 38, <clears throat> I want to talk about something that I think is almost really the key to true, profound fulfillment, to just real fulfillment. This has to happen. We, most of society has taught us, and we've mostly grown up not embracing sadness, not even knowing about sadness. It's either a big fake happy or anger for a lot of people, not everybody. There's people that have cried, but, and what anger is, is I'm not allowed to cry. It's like there's this stuff trying to come up and we don't feel it. And so instead we push it down and it becomes anger. And almost everything teaches inspiration and positivity and happiness and almost all music is happy. There are sad songs, but a lot of those sad songs have a lot of hope in them too. And a lot of things that are like I was looking on Spotify and the choice said different moods and I was looking at all the moods and it was like almost all of them were uplifting and one of them was a sad sad station and I looked at it and it was uh, and it was a bunch of songs that are like you know use these songs to feel better and they were all about getting happy again and there's a lot of darkness that's in us and the reason is because of the darkness that not only society has taught us um but Think about what our parents went through and then what their parents went through. And you go back a generation or two and you're at the Great Depression and you keep going back and you're at slavery. And a lot of times what happens is these, these people go through this, this horrible experiences and then they learn how to protect themselves from experiencing that feeling again. And then they often pass it down to their kid, the fears. So for instance, someone in the Great Depression might have a horrible fear of losing money. So they suddenly start teaching their kids, like, you got to go get a job. You got to be, because they only knew, you know, you can lose your money and you don't have security. And so that goes down the line. And, and the teaching of many parents is out of their fear of feeling the trauma that they felt in their childhood. So this has been passed down. And we're the, in this time now where um, I think our awareness is higher and we can feel sad. Um, and, and in that sadness, uh, you release not only the crap from your past and your childhood, you also might be helping release the line of crap that came down the line from our parents before and their parents and their parents and their parents. And we take this pain and when we cry, we free it. Crying is actually changing something. Crying isn't just being sad and then going back to the thing. Crying is a letting go, a release. And if we still feel like going back to the thing, we didn't cry enough. <laughs> or we, we got in our heart and we're going back to the thing not out of fear, but out of our power, out of a knowing. So usually we hold on to something only because we're scared to feel the pain of losing it. And we don't realize that our power is when we feel the pain of losing it. Because you're not even sad about losing that thing or that person. You're sad about letting go of who you were when you were in that thing or with that person. And one day it's going to be totally normal to cry. But the world can't show us that because it's in our repression of our crying that we can feel like we're not enough. We can feel our anger. It's easier to sell us stuff. It's easier to make us feel like we're not enough and that the products of the world and the solutions of the world will make us feel like something if we're this giant just taking everyone's garbage bags of pain from generations past 
So one of my favorite musicians is Brian Wilson. And I realize it's because he completely talks about crying. And some people talk about, you know, his music and I go, it's just so depressing because Brian was the the melancholy, sad notes of the Beach Boys. And he, you know, he did the Pet Sounds album, which is an album that when I hear it, I really can get emotional. And he has an album called Smile that just makes you feel and, and he's just got depth when he plays its chords that are that are almost clashing chords that are so beautiful. And then Louis C.K. is another person who he released this series called Horace and Pete on his website. And um, it's so what you might call depressing, but it made me it's because it's everything. It made me feel so incredible. Because when we're feeling sad and we're just trying to feel happy, we're denying the sad. And what if we just looked at the sad and felt sad and felt really, I'm not talking depressed. Depressed is when you're judging your sadness. That's, that's different. I'm talking about feeling sad and loving feeling sad. Go out in nature and just let that out. Because you're 20 seconds away or 30 seconds away after that crying from being a newer person and you're almost taking the garbage bags from your past and that your parents handed you from their parents and you're just leaving them in the forest you're just leaving them wherever you go and i promise you that if we embrace true sadness and look it in the eye you'll transform as a human being You'll transform. That's why taking some time away is so important because Netflix and, and Facebook keep it in a lot of times. Okay, I feel sad. I'll just deny that I feel sad and just kind of, and it just like, I'm not going to feel. What a gift that we get to feel even what we're letting go of. We get to say goodbye to all those things in the past. And then your power is there, your connection to your soul, everything is there. And all uh, every once in a while, something's going to come up and you cry it out and you grow. Don't keep it in and stay the same. Stay in, you know, stay the same and then stay in jobs that you don't feel fulfilled in, working for rates you don't believe in. That's you. That's because you're walking in there with these garbage bags and you think you're not worthy of more. You gotta dump those garbage bags by just being with yourself and being sad. And then you won't believe what's on the other side of that. Day 38.